This is Gigot, and you're watching Mad Lad of Culture. Thank you. Hello, young gentlemen. Man, welcome to Hataruku Mao Summer Season Two, Episode Three. Yay! Woo! So, ladies and gentlemen, today's episode is going to be a very interesting one because you can say Mao and Emilia going on a date with their newborn child. Well, just kidding. With the well supposed child to enjoy some day in life with the mom and dad, and just to see how they're going to treat Alas, of course. So, you can say I'm looking forward to see how this awkward thing will go about, especially the fact that Emilia going to try her best to be a very good mom, even though she's not really liking this at all but still man i can't wait to see how this so wholesome day gonna go about especially the fact that they have been stalked by this mysterious girl too and of course they've been targeted by some new villains too so oh my god this episode today could be wholesome yet we i'm pretty sure that near the end of this episode we're gonna get something very interesting happening so with that said let's get started actually shall we Okay, and let's get started with some interesting wholesome episode today and we can get to see how to say your typical family outing and hopefully there's not enough trouble for them already but i'm pretty sure there'll be trouble coming for them anyway so here we play hey alasu Oh yeah, by the way, have you guys seen a picture of the Seiyu for the D3? Because it was so wholesome seeing the three Seiyu come together for a family picture. <laughs> hey, there we go, stalking them. Why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised? They are going to be stalking them. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see how this episode goes. It's super hard too. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh. Oh, okay. I mean, why not create some hat for yourself, I guess, using your magic? Hmm, air tonight. Well said, Emilia. Pink hat? Sure, why not? Hey, cute. I know, right? Uh huh. Nope, no comment. <laughs> Well, her, her parents could be the angels, so yeah, have fun dealing with them. Oh my god, look at her, man. See, she's enjoying the time so much. Uh-huh. Oh, what? You give him up with that already? So, seems like Mao is like really fond of this world already, not going back to the whole you know, fantasy world. Malukuto. Okay, that's a quite an interesting color. <laughs> mm hmm. Hey. Mm hmm. Wow, that is logically true, though, I say. Oh. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Well, it might always just be some truth there to this war always have to you know keep on going. Kawaii very kawaii. Mm-hmm. Because it might just give her a reality check over the situation with the human too. What what is it? Oh. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> He's worried about the budget. <laughs> oh man. Pain, isn't it? To watch him spend the money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Low. <laughs> mm. Oh, I love that now Toyama voice, man. Mm -hmm. I'm a what now? A, a Cupid, basically. He's just here to make sure those two don't develop much relationship, I guess. Eh? Hey. What? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, I remember she has a crush on him or something. Mm. My god, I should be being dragged around by girls. <laughs> a 
Exactly, right? He's speaking facts right there. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Why? What's wrong with being close, man? Oh, Power Ranger stage show. Okay. Such a Japanese thing to do, I guess. Yeah, 2500 That's like $10, I guess. Uh-huh. Hey. Of course, she's the most well-funded one. <laughs> uh-huh. McDonald? Oh. Oh, wow. That's quite a fancy lunch that he got there. Mm hmm. Oh, no. He's, he's worried about the money. No, he's having stomach ache. I think he has stomach ache. Okay, what kind of fancy Power Rangers show we're going to have here? Oh, very aesthetic. To be honest though, I would never go to this sort of things in the amusement park. This is for kids. Well, if I have a kid, then I'll of course just take him here, but yeah. I mean, I don't know, looking at this kind of reminds me of, you know, the world domination from last season. <laughs> what? What's wrong? They feel fell. What's wrong? Oh no, what should you guys? Oh no, PTSD? Oh my gosh, she's remembering something, isn't she? <laughs> hmm. Mm hmm. What's wrong? She having Ill uh, illness now or headache? Yes, she having headache. Oh, oh, she showed up. Oh, damn, she's beautiful too. Is that Mio Takamiya from Day Alive? Wait, what? That's Mama. Hmm. What? Wait, what? Oh, yo. Oh, she's fine now. <laughs> oh my god. Dude. That was low. Damn, she's busty too, man. Then, who, then what are you, an angel or something? Oh, so she was the one that brought her here then. Uh-huh. Oh, damn. Seems like she is a big deal, man. Oh, yeah. I'm warning her already. Nice. Oh, she's gone. Ah, that was fast. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, <laughs> oh my God. That was one hell of a punch. <laughs> Oh, they're here already? Oh, pizza. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, pizza arrived. <laughs> hmm. I know, right? He he has his body is quite sensitive to this world's food after all. Oh, they're going for the Ferris wheel. Okay. Mm, no. <laughs> Chio's reaction is so good. Mm -hmm. Nandoka. I'm pretty sure they bring to the Ferris wheel to have a chat with them or something. Mm hmm. Hey. That death stare. <laughs> 
Mhm. I know, right? <laughs> and Gio help her out and they get separated. Hey, dude. Dude, she's so lucky to sit next to her crush. <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> oh, man. This is so good. Me? Mmm, yeah, hey, of course. Hey, this is win-win for you, okay, girl? Hmm. Oh, now she's digging him. He says she's digging her him for information now. Wow. Yo, what the hell? The cat reaction. Oh my god, that cat reaction. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, he's getting very nervous. Doki doki. Doki doki. Oh my god, what the f Why is he so handsome? Why is he so handsome? <laughs> mm hmm. Sinuno, <laughs> Sinuno, <laughs> lol. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, so we're having his backstory. So before he became a demon lord, how he was useless. Okay. Oh, damn. Well, wow, that's sad for him. So that his parents die in the war. That is just not cool. And he got saved by an angel. What the hell? Yo, what? He got saved by an angel? Wait, isn't she the one? Yo, wasn't she the one that... From earlier? Oh, ho, ho. She saved him? What the hell? Why, though? Um, okay. So an angel saved Mao. Like, is there a reason why? Maybe that's why Mao has a kind heart in him because of the angel saving him. Um, interesting. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, wow, okay. Mm hmm. I know, right? So you're telling me Angel was the cause of it? Oh, so she was the one that gave him the, the moon crystal that gave birth to Alas. Mm hmm. Oh, wow, okay. So that's why he immediately recognized her because of the crest, because she grew it himself. <laughs> oh, nice. Mm hmm. And then. Hmm. Oh, ouch. What the hell? Yes, so what? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
Ok. Oh, really? That's a kingdom name. Okay. The Pharaoh Incarnation Yusuf. Incarnation, like. In, in terms of like a, a fragment of the power of it or something. Okay. Uh, well, bye bye, Chiho. Good as I. Oh, how sweet of her, man. Mmm, picture of her first family. <laughs> mm hmm. Mmm. Oh, happy allies, man. Hey. Oh. Oh my god, that flush. Hmm. Oh, there. Yes. Um. You know, trouble already back at home. Uh huh. Okay. Why not you two go on a separate date for a bit? Mm hmm. Can we go on a date? Because you want to go on a date with him. Just say it, girl. Admit it. What? Have my number? <laughs> oh my god. Nice. But he, the only thing he uses is the land, land phone though. <laughs> Take it, girl. Take it. <laughs> and there we go, trouble. Hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. Low. <laughs> oh, why you pay for it? <laughs> <It's an issue. laughs> really? You're here for Alas? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. That angel took it and gave it to Mao. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hey, oh, insult. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, he gonna fight or something? In this weakened state? Oh, she was here. Okay. Oh, use force. Oh, what a, what, a, what a power. Oh, really? You're, that company can beat him. Uh, yeah, typical. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, Chiho. Oh, Chiho. Um, are you sure it's a good idea? You're human, though. Uh huh. I mean, no shit, they're here for that. Does she beat through shit already in season one? Okay. 
crew angel. Oh, what, what? Now that just got them off guard. Oh, you use the bowing, really? Oh, he, oh, he's not good with this stuff, so it's gonna work. Yeah, you are the bad guy. What are you talking about? The, I don't know what the angels are. The are the bad guys here. Uh, what tomorrow? Well, that gave you enough time to prepare. Hey, you are a bad guy. You have the voice of a bad guy. <laughs> Not the time, I feel. Not the time, man. Yada. There we go. Our, our, our resistance, huh? So, our, our battle, huh? I mean, he needs to go into a demon mode first, then he can fight properly. Mm hmm. What? Stay overnight? Yeah! For the trailer! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Yoko Hikata voice acting that scene right just goated, man. Oh my god, I love the how she screamed like that. <laughs> oh my god. Well you can say today's episode we get to know some secrets regarding to the Demon King. Um Alas and Well they're they are in trouble with with um angels, I guess. So I guess next episode is gonna be not not just some wholesome moment where Emily is stick a stay over and stuff like that, but also maybe a very interesting uh war. And I'm actually looking forward to see how will this new studio go about to animate the fight scene. Cause you guys remember from season one, the fight scene was absolutely goated, man. Like it was actually really good. And hopefully we get to see some quality fight scene. In this, for this new studio so yeah what can i say man a very fun episode but a very revealing episode too we get to see the angel girl the angel coming to support them in some ways and of course the one to see i think i'm pretty sure she is also the one that saved my old too i need just to go back to the scene where she goes save my old because i somehow don't know i feel like the face seems kind of familiar like let me see by the way guys doesn't she look almost like Mio Takamiya? Well, for any daylight fans out there, doesn't she look like Mio Takamiya? <laughs> oh my god. I mean, the white hair, pale skin, I guess, kind of gave it away. You can already tell she's an angel because of her looks anyway. So, yeah, her eyes, though, seems kind of similar to someone I recognize. But, oh, well, uh, def she's definitely not my old like, mom, indeed, man. But I feel like... He has a, a, some sort of role to play in the story after all. Like, I mean, you can just tell she's strong. I mean, she's... I don't know. Her, 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 her facial design, though. Hmm. Seems awfully familiar. Like, looking at her, though. I don't know. I feel like... I know that she is an angel and stuff like that, but... I am just guessing this guessing this right now man like i i have no concrete evidence yet by the way but well i'm i mean i'm glad that my old got saved by an angel that kind of explains why he was being how he has a nice part of his personality because he was being rescued and so that's why you know he willing to give emilia a chance of redemption you know he never not, never really consider attacking her or killing her so because you know he got saved by an angel himself to her himself too and the fact that he got saved by an angel and he was willing to you know uh, uh, grow the crystal that's why he was able to recognize alas back in like episode two so i mean at first he was shocked but then he said oh yeah he she's the crystal that's why he was willing to be a father but yeah going back to this topic though i have a feeling this angel i have no concrete evidence yet but it could be Emilia's mom. Yeah, I'm not kidding, guys. Remember, Emily is half angel. So, I mean, who are, who are other angel 
be more obvious to your mom than this one in this episode today. Why do you, why can why do you think she just walk up to Emilia like so confidently too? So okay, seems like we will find out more in the coming season, the coming episode, whether or not she is indeed the um, the mom of Emilia or not. But also we got himself. Uh, I think he's voiced by Dio's voice actor. So yeah, he's troublesome already. He doesn't. He just he says he's not a villain, but he acts like a villain. I mean, any angel in this in this series is villain, anyways. So yeah, really looking forward to next episode to see how they enjoy the time together, sleeping together. So with that, I hope you guys enjoy my reactions. Smash the button, and I'll see you guys next time.